I already pulled up a picture and I've already created uh, a duplicate layer for it. So I always start on layer one. I never use a background layer. Um, the liquify tool is very cool. Um, it's very easy to do. It has some nice effects. So we're going to show you how to use it. Uh, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to click filter and select liquify. You can see that it's one of the options in the filter column, liquify. As soon as I select that, it automatically pulls up a new screen, uh, well, pulls up a, a pop-up window with my picture, and we can see that we have a brush selected. On the left-hand side of the screen, we have some options, which we're going to play around with, and on the right-hand side of the screen, we have some options. Um, the main real important one is the brush size here, which is the one we're going to play around with. Our brush size right now is 301. We're going to keep it at 301 just to show you what happens when everything is, when you have a semi-small brush size, and I'll show you what it looks like when you have a larger size one. Um, so essentially what the liquify option does, if I zoom in here and I have my finger pressed, wherever I press down on the mouse, it's going to stretch it. And this almost looks exactly a little bit like the smudge tool to an extent. Um, this isn't necessarily the best way to use liquify, but it's one of the things that it does. Um, it does stretch out parts of the screens and make them move like liquid. Um, and I'll show you what each of these options does. Then there's the paintbrush, which kind of pulls up. As I hold the mouse down, notice how it's pulling everything together. Um, so that's what that option does. Then we have the pinch option, which makes everything smaller, and the open option, which makes everything bigger. Uh, now when is this cool? If I actually want to change the, uh, like, someone's eyes a little bit, make their eyes a little bit bigger, I can use that pinch option and open option to do that. And then the last feature kind of moves everything together. And then you can always reset everything if you'd like to. Just click restore all and it goes back to normal. All right, now, if I change the brush size to huge, well, that's way too big. Let's keep it at, no, let's do, let's do around 4,000 so that it's bigger than my picture. Now these have a little different effect. This pick option actually takes a part of my screen, which is very cool. I can take a part of my screen and move it around. I can take pieces of it and push it around to move the way the effect that my image has. You can almost crumble up my image. And then each of the other effects do their own thing. This swirls everything. This is the shrink. This is the enlarge. They don't all do too much when it's that big, but really this is the cool feature. Uh, but that's basically what liquify does. It does do some really cool stuff. Um, I've basically seen it used most often when people can um, change different features like make their eyes smaller. And that's liquify. Thanks.